Hello Power Rangers Lending Collection fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at the GameStop exclusive Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger Power Morpher. So this has been out for a very long time uh, and of course I'm only now getting to it now on the channel for a couple of different reasons. So mainly with this whole thing is that these are just a lot of money. These Power Morphers that they've been making. We've had, this is now the third one in the line uh, following the Walmart one in 2020. And of course, we had the Pink Ranger one in 2021 at GameStop, and now in 2022, even though I'm covering this in 2023, we've had this one here for the Yellow Ranger. And I don't dislike these morphers that are very, very much, of course, supposed to be based off of the 1995 movie. There's nothing in the box that implies that in any regard. Uh, in fact, like, there's next to nothing at all that even is trying to show that it is because it has like the Yellow Ranger artwork and everything there from the show. However, the official like press release for these things or like the product descriptions does like, you know, mention like, remember going to the theater in 1995 and stuff like that. So like, and obviously the look of the Morpher itself, it very much is the Yellow Ranger Morpher from the 1995 movie, except for the fact that it says Power Rangers that makes it not movie accurate. But for the most part, it is movie accurate. So like, it doesn't mean that this doesn't deserve to exist. Like it does have merit to it. It's just kind of like a okay so like i mentioned earlier this was a gamestop exclusive it still is a gamestop exclusive and it was released like around october ish of 2022 it was one of the items that we saw during power week in 2022 and i only finally got it now because it was included in the hazard pulse warehouse sale that just concluded recently uh, which means that i got this for about 36 ish compared to the 55 that it retails for and being a completionist in the Lightning Collection, I figured, all right, I guess that's good enough of a time to pick it up here. So, of course, this is our first one of these, kind of our first one of these that's in plastic-free packaging, but, like, the Pink Ranger one last year essentially was in plastic-free packaging. It just wasn't, like, advertised to be so. You know, it's before the whole thing where, like, everything had that. So, of course, this is in the same style as other recent roleplay items, other recent Lightning Collection items. So this goes very, very nicely with the box for the Power Daggers which were revealed around the same time, so it does make sense there. And I overall do like the box decently enough. Of course, you have a bunch of little copyright information all over the place, which definitely makes this look almost like the back of the box, but it's not. It's definitely the front of the box, and we have just a very simple font that's like Sabertooth Tiger, Lights and Sounds, Yellow Ranger artwork that does look very nice. I'm, assu I'm assuming this is the similar kind of artwork that we'd see on like the Yellow Ranger helmet whenever they do officially announce that. Of course, we have the Morpher there with the Tiger Zord, Tiger Zord, Sabertooth Tiger coin. Of course, I would say Tiger Zord. And on the top, we have just the yellow Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo stuff there. On the bottom, just a ton more of pretty much what's already over here. On the side, which we'll zoom out for so you can actually see it, we have that same artwork there. On the other side, we just have Mighty Morphin Yellow Power Morpher, and there's a picture of it right there. And then on the back, we see everything that we get with this, which if you have the Pink Ranger Morpher, you pretty much know exactly what you to get with this or what you should expect with this. So even though it is Yellow Ranger focused, you do get all five power coins. And then what's so strange to me is that you do get those little cardboard uh, like pogs that everybody was calling them, because that's, that's a sac exactly what they are. For some reason, you know, the Pink Ranger one is the same way. They don't advertise that, but you get them. And I actually prefer those to the power coins, but you do get them. You can see you have the different uh, like light ups, different effects for each of the power coins because even though, like I said, this is Yellow Ranger focused, of course, it does have sounds depending on which coin you put in there. Uh, all three of these morphers have done that, which is still kind of neat. But if you have any of the other morphers, you pretty much know what you're getting with this. So let's go ahead and bring in the Yellow Ranger Power Morpher. All right, so here's everything that you get out of the box for the Power Morpher. So I've already kind of assembled some stuff and put some batteries and stuff and everything like that. So it's not exactly how it is right out of the box, because out of the box, you do have to assemble a stand where you plug in that little port thing there, which is reasonably difficult to like separate once you've done that so like that's that's just how that's gonna be now so uh, but yeah I mean the, the thing about these morphers is that I know some people think that they're rather lazy kind of pointless additions to the lightning collection and I do I do agree with that to a certain standard like the thing is that like they are movie inspired and so like I do like the look of them and the, the extra thing that they added to make them not movie inspired, I suppose, I don't know if that was intentional because I don't know if they're actually allowed to do like movie stuff. So they might have had to do that little design choice with the Power Rangers name there. But with that aside, it is like a valid release of this Morpher. It's just that in, you know, due to the fact we only have the regular Morpher and now pink and yellow's movie versions and we're going to get the Master Morpher later on this year. 
it just seems like they're doing the weirdest options for this particular mold instead of like going straight to the Tommy one or you know straight to like other versions we haven't had. Now it is kind of nice because like Bandai did the same thing with these where they did the movie morphers and I never got those back in the day so like I'm perfectly good with that because I never got them and I do like the stand. I like the lightning collection like morpher mold even though I have a little bit of problems with it but I don't know. The, the biggest thing is just that it's not worth $55. So if you can get it on sale like I did where I got it for 35 and GameStop is inevitably going to have this on sale because the Pink Ranger ones have just been rotting away on shelves for nearly two years at this point. So like, if you think of that, then yeah, it's definitely, I think it's definitely worth like the more of the $35 price point, but like just don't pay $55 for this. Don't pay $55 for any of these color variations. The Master Morpher is one of those things where like, I feel like that would be worth at least 55 whenever we do eventually get to see it. This is not. But yeah, I mean, like I said, if you have the Pink Ranger one, or even the original one, you pretty much know what you're getting with this. The stand is the exact same thing, uh, just this piece of, you know, relatively cheap plastic, but I like this stand. I like that you can put the coins there, I like the Power Ranger logo there, and I've had no problems with this stand in the past. It's a nice way to display the morphers on my shelves, and I'm totally good with them being consistent and having them all have a matching stand. That's perfectly good with me. The morpher itself, of course, has the holster done up in yellow, just like it should from the movie which also is good. It has the little belt clips on the back if you want to clip it to your belt. And then of course the morpher can just, as I try to put it in upside down, it can just slot in like that and clip in. And then I don't remember, I, yeah, you can kind of have it rest in there backwards if you're trying to do like a Jew Ranger kind of thing, but it's not necessarily clipped in there. So you might not want to do that just for like, you know, to risk not breaking it. And of course the morpher itself, you can see that Power Rangers logo there caught in the light. Cause like the movie morphers don't have that. They're just like a red ring uh, with the bolts painted to whatever color the rangers are. In fact, actually in the, in the movie, we never even see the backs of these. In the movie, they just like hold this entire thing up like this, which was kind of weird and kind of funny. So we actually never got to see the backs of these. Now, if I remember correctly, when Bandai made legacy versions of these, they painted the backs of the movie morphers silver just to have them be a little bit different. I don't know if that's like technically movie accurate since we never saw that. So like I can't fault Hasbro for not doing that. That was kind of a cool thing that, had, that uh, Bandai did with it, but like, yeah, it's perfectly good without it. But yeah, I mean, it's the same mold as the other two, and I'm not surprised, and it's, I'm sure it's gonna be the same mold as the Master Morpher. They can, they can do a lot of versions of this thing. So, you know, if you count Tommy's regular Morpher and Master Morpher as separate things, the seven movies and then the regular, or the seven movie Morphers and the regular show, that's what, like 10 different molds that you can get out of this? So like, I fully, fully expect, and would actually like Hasbro to fully take advantage of that. It's just one of those things where it's like, we're doing the more not exciting ones first, which is probably the point. Like I, it's one of those things where like, we haven't had any rumors or leaks of them doing, you know, red, blue, black, and white from the rest of the movie. Uh, we just have yellow and pink. And I hope that they do the other four movie morphers, but at the same time, we don't need to really get to them super quickly, especially as these are gonna ride away on clearance, unfortunately, unfortunately. But yeah, it's not a bad toy. We do have, of course, the handle there. I know a lot of people obviously prefer the legacy version of these morphers, which of course definitely have the more significant weights to them. They have the die cast plates. They were obviously also a little bit more expensive than even these are. So like, you know, it's kind of hard to compare them. Now, of course, I already have the Sabertooth Tiger coin in there, but of course, now I'm, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna have to make a cut here because I was playing around with this morpher and Sometimes the sounds were cutting out and I don't know if that is I have like bad batteries in here and just need to change the batteries which are not included by the way uh, You need three triple A's for this. So, you know, keep that in mind if you're buying the toy So I don't know if it's just I have bad batteries in here or if mine actually has some like faulty electronics But we'll see we'll see what we can do with this uh, for this video But of course when you have the saber tooth tiger coin in there or any coin in there and you click the button you get a morph Which didn't work Oh, see there we go. It's cutting out Let's change the batteries. Oh, oh, oh. Let's change the batteries and see if that helps anything. Let's try that again. It's morphin' time! There we go. So, now what's cool about this too is that since it obviously is uh, movie inspired, that is supposed to be Aisha's voice coming out of this and not Trini's. There's no Trini voice phrases on this thing. Uh, which makes sense because like the the pink ranger one which was also movie inspired of course had kimberly phrases and not cat phrases so you get the very similar thing where you get that you know pulsating glow after you do the morph which is just going to kind of last forever but it does look nice i do like that 
I am honestly not sure because the instructions don't help you at all and I'll, I'll prove it with it. Uh, here are the instructions. Oh yeah, that does eventually stop. But you have the instructions right here. And it just shows you, hey, batteries go in there. You can do this, you can how you swap the coins, how you use the morpher. It does not specify at all how many phrases each of the coins have. So I'm gonna hope that I show all of the phrases or at least most of the phrases for each of the five coins, but I genuinely don't know how many phrases are in here because there's just, they don't tell you. So like there could be five, there could be 10, there could be three, I have no idea. So that was one of them where she said it's morphing time. And compared to the, to the Kimberly sound alike, because it's not actually, or it wasn't actually Amy Jo Johnson and it's not actually Karen Ashley for this, I don't think it's terrible. Like I definitely do hear Aisha in this. I don't really know why they didn't just bother to get her back. I'm sure Karen Ashley would have come back to do this toy, but uh, I don't know. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible version of Aisha. So of course, everything you do with this toy, closing the plates, opening the plates, makes it make a noise. And to get a new sound, you just have to keep closing and opening the plates again. Thinking we might be cycling back finally. Yellow here. Let's do this. So I think it's I did I think it does follow a cycle. I don't think it's a randomized thing. So I, what was that like six, five or six phrases there? Now one thing I do want to show off before I start swapping coins is that it does because the other two versions had it too. It does still have that quote unquote secret sound where if you are blocking the movement of the plates in any capacity so basically if you're holding the plates and trying to open it at the same time it's going to make this a secret i i i i i sound from alpha so that's fun i do like that and of course once you open it Power Rangers, go! and you click the button We've got this. you can also cycle through the sounds that way you don't have to close the plates which honestly, I probably should have done that before. I don't know why I kept closing the plates, but going forward, I will stop closing the plates. So what we have to do now if to get the other sounds is that you just swap the coins. So you just twist and pull it out. And of course the coins all have, they're all die cast metal and they have the Ranger helmets on the back of them. And they are the exact same coins that you probably already have from the other two morphers. So this is my third set of these coins which is kind of annoying because I don't need that many sets of these coins, but like I get it because like, you know, they, they can't assume that you have the other morphers. So like I totally understand that, but I just, I never thought I would have so many sets of dinosaur coins, that's for sure. And it is, it is unfortunate that they didn't make ninja coins for these. You know, it would've been cool if you had Sabertooth Tiger and of course also the bear, but you don't. Now for these, even though it is the Yellow Ranger Morpher, Basically, every time you put a different Ranger's coin in there, it's going to change the phrases from Aisha to have different, like, Red Ranger-focused things, or, like, where she's talking to Rocky, or Black Ranger-focused things, you know, Pink Ranger-focused things, etc. So, let's go ahead and test out the Rocky phrases. They've also changed the light in there to be red now. So a lot of these are gonna be very similar where she's like telling the ranger to morph or like saying something about like, you know, Tyrannosaurus, Red Ranger power or whatever, or whatever it is. So like, these are gonna be very repetitive and they're not as like unique as like Aisha's specific quotes, but still, you know, it's a cool feature nonetheless. Master Don, take it away. Adam, time to morph. Kicking it over to Triceratops. Billy, it's 
All right, you get the point. So that is I probably all the voice phrases, I'm, I'm sure. So we're going to go ahead and go back to just default Sabertooth Tiger because that's what people are going to want to display this as. We'll put the morpher back in here. And then, of course, you just rest it on this stand. It doesn't clip in or anything like that. It just kind of rests there. But it does look nice. I do like this stand. And then you could take the coins and basically you rest them in there like that. And you can put all four of them there. However, what I actually prefer to do, because I think it actually is kind of a neat feature, it's it's a cheap kind of dumb feature, but instead of you having to have all the coins on all these stands, like on the original Power Morpher, you don't get anything like this uh, because they just anticipate you're going to put the coins there. But on the Pink Ranger Morpher and out here on the Yellow Ranger Morpher, they've included these little cardboard cogs, cogs, pogs. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on these. And I mean, this is, this is dumb, but also I do like it because it's just, it's something a little unique, I suppose. So you get these four little cardboard pogs of the Yellow Ranger, just kind of just random press shots and it has the Money Morphin logo behind there. And you get this one, you get this one, and you get this one. And then basically the idea is you could just take them, but that's zoomed out too far. You can take them and you can just set them on there like that. And you know, well, I like that well enough. That is perfectly acceptable. Or you can put the coins there, you know, whatever you want to do. But that's pretty much going to go ahead and do it here for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection GameStop exclusive Yellow Ranger Power Morpher. So, like I said, I can recommend this if you can get it on sale. If you're a fan of Aisha, a fan of the 95 movie, if you're a completionist, of course, for Lightning Collection like I am. Many different little reasons that you might want to get this for your collection. It's, it's simple. It's kind of dumb, but I do like it overall. I just would not pay $55 for it. So definitely try to find it on sale if you can. But if you can, I can recommend it. And I think it's decently okay to have and kind of cool to have on display with the Pink Ranger one or the original one as well. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you have this Morpher? Do you have the Pink Ranger one or the regular one? Which ones do you want to see Hasbro do next? And what do you think of these movie inspired Lightning Collection Morphers? Are they kind of a waste of time? Or now that we have two six of them, do you want to see them finish them? Anything about this down in the comments below, I want to read it. And of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LiveryRangerKey or LightningFigPR. And I'll see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Overland, Maji Yellow, Redstone MCPC, Comix1017, James Darty, Monster Rocket, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose ED, Socket Monsters, and Anthony Love. You can support Tokutabooks for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.